Jeremy from the Artifacts Forge here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to convert photographs into authentic looking engravings in Affinity with our vintage engraved photo converter. All of the images you see started out as photographs and have been converted in seconds with a little extra time to tweak the effects and colours. If you want to try it on your photos follow the link in the description below and get the pack from artifactsforge.com. Okay let's see how it works. I'm using Affinity 3, but there's a version which works in Affinity 2 included in the pack. First, open one of the two engraving documents. Product has been saved into two documents to keep the file size down. Inside the document are two groups as shown on the layers panel here. The upper group contains all of the engraving patterns, each contained on its own layer with one visible by default. To switch to another engraving type, make the current layer invisible and another one visible. There are 21 in total. The second folder contains an embedded JPEG and two adjustment layers, and we're going to replace the JPEG with a photo to apply the engraving effect. To do this, open the Resource Manager. This can be found in the Document Resource Manager menu. Once open, select the JPEG here and hit the Replace button. Navigate to the photo of your choice and double click it. As you can see, the image has been replaced and the engraving effect has been applied. You need to zoom in to see the full level of detail as it's not visible when zoomed out. But don't worry, the detail is there. As you can see, the result isn't perfect yet, but we can improve on it by using the included adjustment layers and altering the size of the engraving pattern. To adjust the size of the engraving pattern, simply select the relevant engraving layer with the fill tool. This was previously called the gradient tool. Then. Drag the handles in or out while holding the shift key to keep the pattern in proportion. This can make quite a big difference to the effect. The smaller the engraving pattern is, the more detail you'll get. As you see, we need to make further improvements to bring out more of the image detail. And you can do this using the levels adjustment which has been included in the document. To use it, click the icon here. There are five sliders which all alter different aspects of the image. How you use this will vary from image to image. The black level slider darkens the dark parts of the image when moved to the right and does the opposite when moved to the left. The white level slider lightens the light parts of the image when moved to the left and it does the opposite when moved to the right. For this image, I'm going to use the other three sliders. Firstly, I'm going to move the output level black slider to the right. What this does is lighten the very darkest parts of the image, which is very useful when you have dark areas in which the engraving effect doesn't show. As you can see, the image is lightening up and more engraving detail is appearing in the dark areas. Next, I'm going to move the output white level slider to the left. This darkens the lightest parts of the image. And this is good if you have areas which are too light for the engraving effect to show. As you see, the lighter areas are filling in. Finally, I'm going to subtly adjust the gamma slider. The gamma slider alters the image midtones. I'll zoom in a little more so you can see the full detail. When happy, simply close the adjustment layer interface. The second included adjustment layer is posterize. This creates areas of flat tone within your image and it helps to make the engraving look less photo-like. The higher the number, the more levels of tone you'll have and vice versa. To demonstrate, I'll lower the number considerably. It doesn't look great, but it shows just how it works. I think 15 works well, so I'm going to revert back. To recolor your engraving, click the FX icon on the relevant engraving layer. Then, in the Layer FX option, choose Color Overlay. Hit the Color Swatch icon, then adjust the colors as required. If you want to color your engraving using a gradient, disable the Color Overlay and add a Gradient Overlay instead. Be sure to set the Blend Mode to Add. If you want to revert to a flat color, switch to a Color Overlay again. Using the original photo colours can produce some interesting results. To do this, select your photo using the Layers panel 
then set the colour to none using the colour panel. If you change your mind, swap back to white. The pack comes with full instructions which go into a lot more detail. Follow the link in the description below to get it now and start turning your own photographs into authentic looking engravings. And save 20% with offer code TUBE20. Be sure to check out our other affinity videos and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks for your support.